To be quite honest, this training session is for iHub Meta team members, but I really hope that all the listeners we have from all over the world will get some benefit from this session, and I believe that you will. At the time of this recording, it's July 16th, 2022 in this session. I guess it's going to drop on Tuesday the 19th, and as some of you know, uh, iHub Global has been around for right at two years now. I I signed up with them a little less than a year ago. They introduced the iHub Meta beta program, which is closed right now. Nobody can get in it. Uh, But they introduced that about five weeks ago. And I said it, said, have said it many times over the last five weeks, and I'll say it many more. The iHub Meta program offers the number one income generating opportunity I've seen in my entire entrepreneurial career. I mean, we have people on our team that right now are on track to create a six figure passive income within their first 90 days without selling a product, enrolling their first team member. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. And there's some people in this company have already created those numbers in their first 30 days. I mean, they're just giving away. All we're doing is giving away basically cash flow. We're giving away cash flow to business owners in the form of a loop media player. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check out this new uh, PDF that we've just released that talks about a business niche that didn't even exist a couple of years ago. It wasn't even available. It did not exist. If you want to check out that PDF, you can at Plug and Play Crypto. Plug and A-N-D, spelled out A-N-D, Plug and playcrypto.com. Since joining iHub Global, I personally enrolled 327 people. Many of them were during the free hotspot giveaway period, which was an absolute goat rodeo. It was a disaster, to say the least. When people don't have skin in the game, they rarely take the time to plug in and even figure out what's going on, much less take any kind of action. But despite all that, our team has grown now to nearly 5,000 people at the time of this recording, and it's been an unbelievable journey with a lot of ups and downs. Uh, this past Thursday on 716, we had our weekly Thursday night team Zoom meetings. We had about 81 people in attendance, which is not very good, but I realize a lot of people are working in the evenings and many watch the replays the following day, but still there should have been more. Uh, and when I look at the list of attendees, the people that attended that live Zoom last week, I would place them into four different categories. Uh, there were 14 people that I counted from my list that I would say are in a consistent weekly rhythm. These people are progressing and growing their business and their income every single week. We've got about 13 who have started. They've given away a few boxes, and I expect them to continue to move forward and become members of our new uh, 10 club very, very soon. I believe these 27 people are setting themselves up to make more money than they've ever made in any entrepreneurial endeavor. Then we had about nine people on the Zoom training that are in countries where the program's not been launched yet. They're plugged in. They're doing what they can in the USA market. And I believe these people are going to dominate their country when iHub Med is available there. So that's a total of 49 people. 13 in a rhythm, 14 who have had some success in attempting to get into a rhythm, and 9 who are plugged in but not, but are not in countries where the program is launched yet. Honestly, this session, this training, this podcast, whatever you want to call it, this is for the other 32 team members that were on the Zoom training and have not started yet, and also about 41 other people that I've identified as high-performance people, they've joined our team, but they've done nothing. They don't even know our Thursday team Zooms exist, or if they do, I guess they're too busy drinking their own Kool-Aid to attend. 
but they have a track record of success in the past. Some of them, you know, it was many years ago, but they still have done it in the past. But they've really never plugged in and are virtually oblivious to the unique wealth building opportunities available to them. And that's who this podcast is for. Those 41 and those 32, and I'm calling it Stop Drinking Your Own Kool-Aid, Examine Your Track Record. Welcome to the MLMSuccess.com podcast, the show designed to return the network marketing industry to its roots of personal growth, leadership development, and wisdom of the ages success principles. We share with you real success stories from real people that we hope will inspire and encourage you personally and help you progress forward in your business and your life. We believe if you build people, people will build the business. Now here is your host who has been called the number one mind in network marketing, the MLM Profit, Network Marketing Virtual Mentor, and a host of other names that we will not mention because this is a family show. Frankly, he's just a small town guy that figured out that the real product in network marketing is people. Dale Calvert. Hey, this is Dale Calvert. I hope you've had a great week. I appreciate all the emails from many of you around the country and around the world concerned that I didn't release a new podcast session last week. This is probably the first week we've missed since we, or that was the first week we've missed since we started the MLM Success Podcast several years ago. But here's what happened. My granddaughter was playing in the largest girls AAU basketball tournament in the country. It was in Louisville, Kentucky. And I watched her play a couple games online and then I just made a spur-of-the-moment decision to pack my bag and head to Kentucky last Monday night. Uh, the team was just playing great, and frankly, I wanted to be there live. Uh, I left uh, early Monday evening, and I knew I could probably be in Kentucky by about 1 o'clock in the morning, which I was. Uh, I got there and got some, got to bed around 3 o'clock in the morning, got up at 8, and I was in Louisville, in time for the kickoff, the tip off at 10 o'clock the next morning and got to see her play a total of six games and, uh, just made the decision. Hey, I want to go see her play live. And I went and it was a great trip. Had time to spend with all three of my daughters and my, my parents. And it, it was good. Uh, the basketball tournament down there is unbelievable. There's over a hundred basketball floors in Freedom Hall and the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center. If you can just imagine basketball courts as far as you can see and teams from every state in the United States were there, you know, a bunch of college coaches and scouts from all over the country. Uh, it's just quite a spectacle. Chapel, my granddaughters, her team, they did awesome. And they played really well. She did phenomenal. They made it to the final game. And they were playing a Nike-sponsored school, which in that world, if Nike sponsors you, that means you've got some players on your team. And Nike will pay for the tournament entry and the uniforms and the shoes, of course, and everything else. But they were playing a favorite uh, Nike-sponsored school from, I think they were from Mississippi, at the end of the, at the final game, at halftime, they were leading. Chapel's team was leading by 12 and they were all playing great. And then the team started coming back on them. And with 18 seconds left to go in the game, uh, they were down by three. So they needed a three to tie it up. And they had the ball and they ran a play and they got it to Chapel in the corner, which is her spot. And she had two people right on top of her. She threw it back out to the top of the key. They collapsed on that girl. She threw it over to the other corner. And bottom line, the game ended, and they didn't even get a shot off. It was horrific. They didn't even get a shot off, uh, and they lost by three. But it was a phenomenal, phenomenal tournament for them. They played really good. And I just love team sports because it teaches you a lot about life and business. I mean, the numbers are the numbers. Your track record 
is your track record or your performance is what it is. I mean, you have to learn to perform under pressure. You have to develop your own confidence. You have to be accountable to your team and to yourself. And, and you know, high-level travel team AAU basketball, it's for the elite players in, in every state. I mean, on every every team, they'll have maybe one player from multiple high schools in that state that put together these travel teams. Uh, I can promise you one thing. There ain't no participation trophies in AAU basketball. It's for the serious players. No participation trophies in AAU basketball. And the numbers of the numbers, your track record is what it is, and you are exposed for the whole world to see. So let's get into the session. The title of this is Stop Drinking Your Own Kool-Aid and Examine Your Track Record. There's really two groups of people I want to talk to. The first is uh, the 41 people that have joined our team and done nothing. I, I consider these people high-performance people, but they have signed up. They haven't done a thing. They don't even know our Thursday team Zooms exist, or if they do, as I said earlier, they're too busy drinking their own Kool-Aid to attend. These are people that at some point on their journey had some level of success. I'm saying at least six figures in income. Uh, some are trying to hang on to their incomes and diminishing downlines. Uh, others are spending all their time on social media, sharing stories about the good old days and MOM. And then there's others that are totally burnt out on network marketing and they can't even bring themselves to think about building and running again. A lot of them have gone on to more traditional type businesses. And this is the first group I want to talk to because I know there are many others who've never signed up with us but fall into this category who listen to this podcast from time to time. You know, talented, successful, hardworking people that just cannot decide to run again or to make a pivot and run one more time. Uh, those 41 who signed up with us, I will be personally sending you a copy of this session. I'm going to send you an email with a copy of this session. So if you're hearing this right now, because I sent you an email or maybe somebody on our, our team did, but you know who you are. You know what category you fall in and why we sent you this. I appreciate you as human beings and as friends. But if you're ever going to run again, and many of you I know have been thinking about it for years, now's the time. This is the opportunity, not because I say so, but because the numbers do. And we're going to talk about the numbers in a minute, but the numbers do. And after I have a heart to heart with these 41 people, I'm going to end this session sharing some thoughts with the 32 members that were on our Zoom last week, but who have not taken the time to take the, who have not, not necessarily taken the time, but not have mustered up the courage to take the first step, gotten on the field and walk through the first door of the first business or made their first contact. And I would love to speak with each one of you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I would give anything if I had the time to do that, but this is going to have to do for now. I, I am open to, to you guys after you hear this podcast. If we need to talk, we can definitely do that to those 32 people. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, what I'm going to talk about really describes a lot of people and a lot of companies throughout the, the world who listen to this podcast. You know, I've always been fascinated with those that seem to be addicted to gathering knowledge, but don't seem to be able to take action on the knowledge they acquire. It's fascinating to me. Knowledge without action leads to self-delusion. So let's get into this session. So let's talk about the high performance people first, the ones that you probably got an email inviting you to listen to the session. I can't stress strongly enough that I'm doing this session for you, not me. The truth is the I have met an opportunity right now at this time in history offers the opportunity to create a million dollar passive income without ever enrolling a single person, without enrolling anybody. So nothing I'm going getting ready to say is to try to convince you to join. You've already signed up. The purpose of this session is to get you to take a real serious look 
at the Kool-Aid you've been drinking and ask yourself if it's time to switch flavors. I mean, really, really, is it time to switch flavors? Because for some of you, it absolutely positively is. There's no question about that. Now, look, I'll admit it. I've intentionally drank the Kool-Aid. I brainwashed myself with my own Kool-Aid on purpose. Okay, on purpose. But I brainwashed myself with the numbers because there's no emotion in numbers. Now, some of what I'm going to talk about, you know, is debatable without question, but, but I'm talking about the numbers. Uh, one of the most important things that I've shared on this podcast multiple times over the past 12 months is real leaders pivot. Network marketing leaders don't. So network marketing leaders have the ability to get themselves stuck in unproductive situations more than any entrepreneurial niche I'm aware of. And there's many reasons for that. There's downline loyalty, upline loyalty. There's all kinds of reasons that people get stuck in in, in that type of situation. I mean, I have friends right now, a couple that I'm thinking about. They've never joined me with iHub Global, but uh, they've trapped themselves in a situation that long term will never give them the opportunity to achieve their full upside potential, in my opinion. Their true upside potential, and I think they have unlimited potential. And I feel this is kind of a good example of what I'm seeing out there in many different companies, uh, those in different niches even, that have not given up on their dreams, but their opportunities have topped out. They've peaked. Uh, you know, you see this everywhere. So when I look at the business my friends have, I mean, the company they are, they, they're with on paper makes perfect sense. I mean, they have a superhuman being, one of a kind CEO. Their compensation plays that pays out more than any in the profession. Uh, they have a unique category creating product. The company has moved from number 129 in the MLM company momentum rankings to number four in the past year. Uh, and this couple is absolutely, they're phenomenal. They're dedicated. They're willing to spend the time, the energy, the effort supporting their team everywhere they can. Uh, so what's the big challenge if all, they got all this going for them? As I said, on paper, Everything looks phenomenal, but here's the cold hard facts. Uh, the fact the company has moved in the momentum rankings from 129 to number four is not a reflection on the momentum of the company. I mean, there's people that are dropping like flies from that company, but it's an indication. It's an indictment on the industry. It's an indication that the consumable products MOM companies are dying. In the United States, the truth is people have been leaving this company right and left. Uh, one of the master distributors has just left in the past week or so. So on, on paper, everything looks phenomenal, but anyone in any company who's attempting to market consumable products, especially in the nutrition field in the United States is fighting a battle that cannot be won. That market is gone. It's over. I don't even see it returning at any time ever. If it's not going to return in a down economy, when's it going to return? Network marketing in the past for years flourished in a down economy, but it hasn't in the last couple. Why? Because because what happens, social club members, see, network marketing is no longer a business. It's a social club, and social club members drop their auto ship during a down economy. And it really saddens me to say that, but it's the absolute truth. Yes, they have a category creating product based upon negative ion technology, but you know what? The market does not care. The market doesn't care. Consumers don't care. No matter how you try to present it, the market sees just another nutritional product. Today we live in a I don't take vitamins or I take vitamins and happy with the ones I take 
world. That's the world we live in. Half the people don't take the vitamin, take any type of nutritional products. The ones that do are happy with the ones they take. And as I've said in, in other podcasts, you can have everything in place on paper. But if the market has no interest in your product, there's no curiosity around it. It doesn't matter how many scientific papers you have or where you are in the momentum rankings. If the market doesn't care, the market doesn't care. So why is this couple still committed to their team and still grinding it out? Because they have a booming business going on in the Philippines and other countries outside the United States. That's the only reason, because there is nothing going on in the U.S. with any nutritional company or any consumable products today. We can all see that. Again, we're in the worst economy we've had in years, and network marketing is no better off than it was you know, a year ago. So unfortunately, this couple is trapped because they do have good business going on outside the United States. What I'm really shocked by is by people that are in dying companies. They're not trapped, but they choose to stay where they are out of some kind of misplaced loyalty to an upline or to the company itself. Either have a product or service that the market wants or you don't. You either have a product or service that the market wants or you don't. I did not say you have a product or service that you believe in. I said that the market wants or you don't. Success Magazine had it right many years ago when they said, if people want what you're selling, you'll get rich. And that's worth really thinking about and never forgetting. Entrepreneurs don't ever forget that. I I lost track of that for a period of time, and I will never lose track of that quote again. If people want what you're selling, you'll get rich. It doesn't matter if you like it, if you think it's the best. doesn't matter what scientists say or anybody else. It's about the market. And if people want what you're selling, you'll get rich. That's why we see these gas additive type products that are starting to get a little momentum right now. Okay. It, it makes sense to some people. Okay. But we've seen that happen in the past when we've had high, high gas prices and then they fizzle out over time. I don't know about you, but I want to spend time, energy and effort in something that's going to be here has the potential to be here 10, 20, 30 years from now. I don't want to get involved in something just because the timing is perfect or it's, it's, it's a fad right now. And I don't want to be involved in something that I have to go out into the marketplace and try to convince people why this product will work. Even though I can have all the documentation, and I definitely don't want to have to deal with the people that think, well, what if it voids my warranty? What if this? What if that? For a, for a, for a, you know, for an eight dollar commission, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I do understand that right now the, there's people in the market that want that product, and I and more power to the people that are listening to this podcast are promoting the different full fuel additives that are available right now. But if you've been around as long as I've have, you've seen this happen two or three times over the last thirty, forty years. Where where when pr- gas prices get high. These these companies tend to get popular for a short period of time, but the time, energy, and effort you put into those, you could have spent better, in my opinion. I have many people that have signed up with me and I have Global, but cannot bring themselves to pivot into the most lucrative opportunity I've seen in 40 years, and our product is something every business owner wants. I mean, with IHUB Meta, our product is cash flow. We're literally giving away cash flow to businesses with no contracts, no credit cards, auto ship, any of that stuff, or any cost of any kind to the business or to the affiliate. Affiliate can join free. So there's two groups of people I want to address in this high performer category. But before I do, let's just take a high-level overview of the IHUB Meta opportunity and, and the numbers. Let's just look at the numbers. There's no emotion in numbers. They are what they are. 
what 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 is our product? You know, well, what's the product, Dale? Because remember, what Success Magazine as as we look at the product, remember what Success Magazine said: if people want what you're selling, you're you'll get rich. Well, we aren't selling anything. We're just offering business owners free of charge a media box that they plug into their TV screen or screens in their business. The box will provide them digital signage where they can run their specials of the week or whatever else they would like to run. Uh, they have high quality content uh, that they can show a library that is available. It's the largest out of home custom library of videos Everything you can imagine, you know, everything you can imagine. GoPro channel showing wild GoPro videos, sports bloopers, kids cartoons, fuel, National Geographic, news, whatever they want to show. They can customize the whole experience for their customers. It's phenomenal. Uh, they just plug it in for their customers to, to enjoy in every 10 minutes. An ad will appear in the bottom right-hand corner, usually from a Fortune 500 company or a well-known brand. It could be Michelin Tires or Best Buy, Hard Rock Hotel, or a similar company. And these companies pay to be featured in this network, and that's how we get paid in OBN rewards. A business can earn up to $200 a month for every TV screen they have in their business. So like a doctor's office, dentist office with one screen in their waiting room. Some have multiple screens, but let's say they have a small office, have one. Uh, they can earn up to $200 a month. A sports bar with 40 screens can make up to $8,000 a month. $200 per screen times 40 screens. And we have businesses, tire stores, nail shops, uh, barber shops, beauty shops, the list of, of TVs out there in the marketplace with business businesses are basically endless. They're everywhere. Um, and you say, well, they'll up to $200 a month. Well, a sports bar can max out that $200 like in a night or two. And then a small barber shop with maybe one or two chairs that doesn't have maybe 20, 30 people coming in, you know, they'll be able to max it out too, but it's going to take longer. They tell us that 97% of businesses with a TV screen and foot traffic will max out that $200, 97%. Some may only make 150, 3% might only get up to 150 or 100 for that month or whatever. So it's based upon foot traffic because obviously you have to have eyeballs on the ads, and that's all done through Bluetooth technology. It's pretty intense the way all this comes together and works, but it's genius. So as an affiliate, you earn up to $100 per screen. So 10 screens, you know, a person, we have people have done that in, in a weekend. 10 screens can give you up to $1,000 every single month and every single month in commissions. 50 screens would pay you as an affiliate $5,000 a month. And when you just really stop and think about that, 50 screens, I mean, I did over 50 screens in, you know, two or three weeks. I, I did had done over 50. And according to the data uh, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Full-time workers in the United States earn a medium income of $908 a week or $47,216 a year. 50 screens is $5,000 a month. Multiple people in this company have done that in less than 30 days. They've created an income that is the medium household income in the United States in less than 30 days with this program. A hundred screens is $10,000 a month. We have people on our team that will do that in 90 days. We'll do that in 90 days. Uh, we have one couple, I think the last time I looked, they were at 97 already. 
So a thousand screens, which could be done in a year, it could be done in a year. That's averaging about 83.9 screens a month, I think. But even if it took two years or three years even, but a thousand screens would create a $1.2 million annual income, passive income, year after year, without selling a product. We're giving the boxes away to businesses, and it, and that's if you never sponsored one single team member. So over the next few months, you'll hear me say a dozen times, side gig incomes are moving into a new era, literally a new era, a never-before-seen era ever in history. And this is happening because of smart contracts on the blockchain, crypto, and decentralized finance. There's opportunities that exist today to make significant income that were not even available a couple of years ago. A new era is here. And to not understand that, in my opinion, is just a mistake if you're an entrepreneur. So when you combine this with word of mouth, the power of word of mouth network marketing, the incomes that can be created are astronomical. I mean, $1.2 million in 12 months? I mean, is that possible? If, if you did 100 screens a month, that's possible. But where have you ever seen, have you ever seen in your lifetime, the potential to start from scratch and build to a $1 million income in your first year without building a team and without selling a product. I've never seen it. If you have, I would love to hear about it. So I have two more groups of people in this niche that I want to speak with real quickly. Number one is social media is full of what, you know, many people call one hit wonders. You know, these people hit it big one time, maybe five, 10, 15, 20 years ago or longer in network marketing, and they're kind of trying to live off that, their past success. Uh, and they've moved into a coast mode, and they share, share a lot of insightful information on social media. Uh, and I get moving into a coast mode. I did that for 15 years. Uh, you know, people have called me a one-hit wonder, but those that know me know my track record and know my story. No, that's the furthest thing from the truth. I was out of the industry at one time for nine years. So, no, I was not a one-hit wonder. I just didn't bring all the people from my existing team into another team or what have you. Uh, I built it, uh, and even one-hit wonders had to build it the first time, which is more than most people will ever do. Those people, you know, Calling well, they're a one hit wonder. Yeah, but they did it one time. How many times have you done it? Uh, so, you know, I would tell you guys that have been kind of coasting for a few years. Uh, if you're ever going to challenge yourself, if you're ever going to try to expand your comfort zone in this new era of opportunity, now's the time. This is the opportunity, not because I say it, because I, I just believe the numbers dictate it. I mean, I really do. I mean, come on, look at the numbers. Uh, for many, the thought of doing it again is kind of scary. Uh, and then people say, well, what if I did just get lucky the first time? So there's a lot of that going on in people's emotions and minds. And I understand that. But if you're an established name in network marketing who's been spending your time on social media, sharing valuable wisdom of the ages insights and talking about the good old days, I mean, I get it. But maybe, maybe if you're ever going to, now's the time to stop drinking your own stale, expired Kool-Aid and get a fresh cup. Uh, the, the last group in this niche are those of you that have finally broken away from team building opportunities. And many of you own successful traditional businesses. But you and I both know that once MLM gets in your blood, it, it really never leaves. It really never leaves. 
And I would ask you, if I'm talking to you right now, you own a successful traditional business or business outside of team building. I would ask you this. Has it ever been better for you than when MLM was good? When MLM was good, it was good. Has it ever been better for you than at that time? Has it ever been more exciting? Have you ever thought bigger than when you were in MLM when it was good? And here's something that's even probably more exciting. You've never experienced it this good. You have never experienced it this good because this is the new era. This is the new era. Okay, there's opportunities that are existing now that could have not even been out there two years ago because of smart contracts on the blockchain, crypto, and decentralized finance. I've shared with you the numbers. And I know many of you listen to me. So, Dale, I could do a hundred. I could give away a hundred boxes and I could do that in 90 days. And you're telling me that's an additional six figures a year. Yeah. And some of you are feeling that way. I know you are. You know, you can do it. And, and yes, some of you are already making a million dollars a year, but is it passive? A thousand boxes is $1.2 million a year passive royalty income. You know, you don't have to deal with the employees and the headaches of traditional business. And the really good part about, from a long-term perspective, IHUB Global will be providing more gizmos and gadgets and cutting-edge crypto and blockchain-related products. I don't know if they're going to come out with a dash cam camera that we turn on when we drive and it pays us crypto. They're out there. Will they come out with their camera? I don't know what they're going to do, but I know that they're really excited about building, continue to add new products and services and gizmos and gadgets for us to market. I've jokingly said that at one time, it wouldn't surprise me in the near future if there was a coffee maker we could all buy and it it mines crypto for us while it's making us coffee. And again, I talk about that in detail in the gizmo and gadgets uh plug and play crypto book that I talked about earlier in the beginning of this podcast. So if you're one of the 41 high performance people that got an email from me, thank you for listening to this podcast. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope I've said something that has inspired you to, you know what, maybe I should take a real serious look and you know how to, Get a hold of me. You know how to reach me, so let's talk. Let's talk. Now I want to talk and share some ideas with the 32 of you uh, that were on the Zoom call. You probably know who you are. And I just want you to know, all 32 of you, that in my mind, you deserve the success this opportunity offers. But me feeling you deserve it does neither of us any good because you have to feel you deserve it. You have to feel you deserve it. I mean, some of you I've known since my Shackley days. Uh, Some of you have been with me off and on during my journey. You know my motivation. You know my philosophy. You know my training has never wavered from wisdom of the ages principles. I've never jumped on the the newest, latest fad training program. I've never told you that you have to have a blog or any of the other stuff that you've heard over the years. You know where I've always come from. Uh, You know what's coming out of my mouth half the time before I do, and many of you could teach most of the concepts better than I can. Guys, you deserve success. Some of you have not missed a live Zoom since we pivoted into IHUB Global. And if you did, you saw the replay. You're plugged in. You deserve success. Many of you are very value-focused, awesome human beings, people who want to do good work and help other people. You deserve success. 
Some of you have family members and others in your life that depend upon you. They need you to become wealthy. You deserve success. Many of you have read dozens of books on wisdom of the age of success principles and leadership. Your home is full of these books. You deserve success. Many of you have attended countless number of webinars, live events, and conventions. You deserve success. You really do. So what is your challenge? And there is no excuses allowed here. There's no excuses. But but what is your challenge? What is your challenge? Have you identified your challenge? I mean, you can find a way to make this happen if you decide to. You know it. I know it. You've got to decide that you will not be denied. And if that means stopping in five businesses before you head home from your job and you have to push back your your supper, your dinner, you know, 30 or 40 minutes, then you'll do it. You'll do whatever it takes. And and I really hope that those of you that need to be listening to this are really hearing what I'm saying. I hope that you will decide, I'm going to find a way. I'm going to find a way because you deserve success and you need to be part of this journey. You need to be part of this journey and you need to complete yours, complete your journey. Your track record should reveal to you, you've done the work. You've come this far. You've come this far. You deserve success and you can't allow yourself to miss it. I want to say something. I want to make sure all of you, all 32 of you, hear this and hear this clearly. After you've walked in 10 businesses, and if you can do it in the same day, great. But after you have walked in 10 businesses, and anybody on our team that has done this will confirm what I'm getting ready to tell you. After you've walked in 10 businesses, any concerns or regrets you've had up to this point for not doing that, they'll disappear and you will be on your way. You're going to be on your way. I promise you that. I promise you that. If you just decide to take the first step and, you know, I'm going to walk in five businesses on Monday and or five businesses on Thursday and five businesses on Friday and I'm going to get that experience under my belt. After that happens, you will be at an entirely different level emotionally, psychologically, and everybody on our team that has taken that first step will tell you the exact same thing. When I look at our team of about 5,000 members, I really put them into five categories. Category number one is those that don't even know a game is happening. They have no idea the game's even happening. They signed up for a free box, forgot all about it, never got plugged in, never did anything. Uh, and then the second group would be those that are aware something's happening, but they're too distracted by life, by the politics of the world, a social unrest, the down economy. And in general, they're just too busy trying to make a living to even consider the possibility that the opportunity to create financial independence is right in front of them. And I'm talking about financial independence. I'm talking about replacing your current full-time income. These people are kind of out in the parking lot. They're trying to enjoy the tailgate party. They know there's a game going on inside the stadium, but they're not even sure what sport is being played. That's the second group. The third group I would call those in the stands. They know all the players on the field, and they're cheering them on. They have dreams of being on the field and playing, but no expectations of it really ever happening. They have a bad leg. Uh, Their manager's no good. Their sponsor. Uh, They don't have enough time to practice or whatever excuse they want to come up with. You can make excuses or you can make money, but you can't make both. These people are on a track that they will end up later in their life because they know the game. They know what game's being played. They even know who the players are. And these people are on track 
to end up down the road in a state of wistful regret. And I've talked about wistful regret several times on this podcast because the nursing homes are full of people that are daily asking themselves, what if I had, if only I had, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? And they're in a state of wistful regret, and they kind of stay there. And there's been a lot of studies done about this. There's two types of regret in this world. Number one is uh, where you have anger uh, and, and you lose your temperature, your temper and you do something or say something that you wish you hadn't done in the heat of the moment. Uh, and that type of regret, I mean, the prisons of the world are full with people that have just, uh, knee jerk reactions, which create regret for the rest of their life. And then you have wistful regret, and those people are in the nursing homes of this world. And unfortunately, the people in the stands, if they don't get out of the stands, they're headed for, they're headed for a life of wistful regret down the road. And then there's those that have made it to the dugout. They've talked to a business or two or even given a few boxes away. But they really have trouble seeing themselves being in the starting line up on the field playing the game every day they could because they have i'm going to say that again they could be in the starting lineup playing every day they could because they have uh but they have to learn to see themselves different maybe it's a time management issue maybe they need to set a better goal uh you know, maybe they need to decide they're going to be a starting player and play every day and not be content to sit in the dugout and pinch hit every now and then. Uh, someone said this is a mind game on our team and it really is. This business always has been built between the year, between the years, but this one really is because everybody ca- could do it. Everybody could find the time to do it. They could say, I'm doing, I'm doing 10. Businesses a week, no matter what, on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm calling on five businesses before I go home. They could readjust their schedule. They can find a way if they decide. And we have people, the the first number one group of people that I see is we have people on the field playing the game every day. They understand that the first step was the hardest to take, and they've taken it. They understand that the first ten boxes are the hardest, and they've done it. Uh, because during that time, we're all in a learning curve. Uh, but the best way to learn is by just doing. And as I told several of our team members, we're all going to kill a few. I've killed a few. I've messed up a bunch. But I'm in a learning curve just like everybody else. But these people are action takers, and action takers always have been and always will be the money makers. They're in the starting lineup, and they're just doing the numbers day after day. They know. They know. They're confident that their 100th box and $100,000 a year income will come. And shortly after that, their 300th box and a $300,000 a year income. And they're not going to stop. They've already made the decision. They're not going to stop until they have their thousandth box given away and they're a millionaire they've already made that decision they get themselves focused and in the right mindset every day and then they go play the game expecting to win and not concerning themselves with the what ifs what if this what if that they understand we're all in a learning curve right now they're going to kill a few so what right now There's plenty of businesses to talk to. They also get in the future, the biggest challenge will be finding a business that doesn't already have a player installed. So to you 32, where are you right now? Where are you really? Are you tailgating in the parking lot? Are you in the stands cheering on the players on the field? Are you in the dugout? Where are you right now? What is your challenge of getting on the field and staying on the field? 
And that's a real serious question. And you have to identify what is your challenge. What is your challenge? And then you also have to identify what can you do about it? How can you readjust some of your activities and your plans and your schedule and your time? What can you do about it? And if you need help identifying your challenge, uh, I, I'm happy to help you if you're one of the 32 because we can do some deep work and probably identify exactly what's holding you back and we can put together a game plan that will help you break out of that whirlpool and get your mind reprogrammed so you can take that first step. Now, there ain't no foo-foo dust that's going to show up in our Facebook group. If you're not playing this game, there's deep reasons why you're not. If you're not playing this game <laughs> with what we have to offer, there's deep reasons and you need to figure it out, and you need to figure it out now. I mean, a hundred thousand dollars a year giving away a hundred boxes to businesses. I mean, come on. There's not, never been anything like this. It's time to get serious. It's time to get real serious. The, the deep work offer is only for the thirty-two that are on my team right now, and you know who you are, and you know how to contact me. I mean, if you're not on our team and you need this kind of help, you can contact our office. Uh, my fee for one-on-one -on -one work like this is $500 an hour with a three-hour three minimum. And you can talk to our, someone at our office about that. So the first step is deciding to walk in 10 businesses. And for many of you, that might be in the stands right now or maybe even in the dugout. For many of you, that's all it's going to take. That's all it's going to take. Once you've done that, you, you're you going to get a boost of confidence like an understanding, and you're going to think, my gosh, I was so scared, and that was so much easier. I just went in and had authentic conversations, and I helped these people. And they're excited because they've got four screens in their restaurant here, and they can make up to $800 a month because I walked in the door. And they're excited, and I'm excited for them. And I just secured $400 in ongoing residual income for my family and myself. The terror, the, 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 the fear is in your mind. And, but I, I sit back and I think, you know, there are probably people and I try to think of something is like, Dale, what would you be terrified to do? Because there are probably people on our team that are literally terrified, shaking in their shoes, just about the thought of walking in a business. And when you put it in proper perspective, and offering that business cash flow, it's terrifying to some people. And I kind of get it because I've done a lot of things in my life. I've been involved in a lot of different businesses, but I had never cold called a business in my life. Some of you think, well, Dale's done all that. I've never cold called a bit. I never in my life one time cold called a business. Now, when I was back in the insurance business, I worked a lead program. I worked a lead program and I, I used the company to use some direct mail and they helped me create some of my own leads. But in my life, you know, I was always the number two income earner in, in our territory and in, in the great Great Lakes territory. That was the territory I worked when I was in the insurance business and I made great money. But I worked off the leads and the leads that the company helped me develop. But I never once during that whole time walked into a business code to talk to the owner about their health insurance. Okay, I never had cold called a business in my life. And I was always the number two money earner in the Great Lakes area. You know what the number one money earner did? He worked his leads, but he might go into a, a local hardware store that he had a lead on, sit down, do the presentation, and then he would go to the business to the right and to the left and, and, and walk in code. 
And I wanted to ride with him at some point just to see what he was doing and how he was doing it, but I never did. I never took the time to learn it. I just never took the time to bring that in my comfort zone. So when we got started here, it was, it's still, it's, I'm not comfortable yet, but you know what? I understand the process. I know I'll get there. I know I'll get there. I, I, I will get there just like everybody does because perfect practice makes perfect. And I will continue. I can make myself pull that door and walk in and have authentic conversations with decision makers. And if they're not a decision maker, to figure out how I'm going to get to the decision maker. It's a learning curve for all of us. And if you don't, if you just are terrified to walk in a business, there's other ways that you could do this. And, and I'll be happy to talk with you and we'll figure out a way that you can make this happen for yourself. But there's no excuses. It's 100% on you. It's your personal responsibility. And you have to have an attitude that you will not let yourself miss this. You are not going to let yourself miss this. I mean, you see what's happening on this team. When I say my goal is to develop 100 six-figure earners and 10 millionaires, you know that this opportunity and our support structure and systems that we have in place, you know that that's going to happen. And you know what? You should be part of it. You should be part of it. You know it's going to happen, don't you? Don't you? You know it's going to. You should be a part of it. How much proof do you need? You see it in our Facebook group daily. New businesses are being registered every single day all over the United States by members of our team. And another question you should really ask yourself is how many boxes do you need to give away to make a significant impact on your current financial situation? I mean, what would an extra thousand dollars a month coming in every, and I, and I'll tell you this, <laughs> once you have a thousand, you will not stop at a thousand. I, I believe a lot of our people will stop at about thirty, forty thousand a month. So that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to find the 10 people that I want to help become millionaires. But, but what would an extra 500 month mean? That's, that's five boxes. I mean, we had a guy that flew in, Mike, uh, Michael, he flew in. Where does he live? Virgin Island or somewhere. I can't remember right now, but he flew in to Tennessee where he, he originally is from so he could work. You know, he's going, I think he's going to work the next four or five weeks in Tennessee. He was on our call Thursday night and he had fl- just gotten flown, flown into Tennessee. He had already been out in the market. He, he did five boxes his first day in the field. Uh, so cool. So cool. You know, so I mean, that, that's $500 a month in ongoing passive residual income. How many will you do by the time he gets done in Tennessee? I don't know. But how many boxes do you need to give away to make a significant impact on your financial life? So, again, this one-on-one deep work offer where you can call and we can talk through some of this, uh, it's my last offer to you guys. It's my last one. I've done all I can. Every training we've done from day one, all our lead generation myth methods, all of our scripts, everything you need to do to take that first step and become successful is available to you. And you know that. You know that. It's, it's in our, it's on our ta- our team training site. Uh, every, every Zoom we've done from day one has been recorded. And as I stated on Thursday's Zoom call on the 14th, uh, my days of trying to convince anybody to take the first step and take advantage of the greatest financial opportunity I've seen in my life, those days are over. Uh, I have to, I must, to maintain my sanity, I've got to take things to the next level, and that'll be working with 10 club members. Uh, as I also said last Thursday, my goal in five years is my participation in this program 
we will have all the systems in place. You all know that. We have most of them in place right now. All of them will be in place. And my goal in five years is to have one call a month with those that are that have a thousand players in the market and to only be spending my time with millionaires on my team. And I know when that happens, it's like Dale won't return phone calls. Dale doesn't do this. Dale doesn't do that. Why doesn't he do this anymore? Well, Dale's got a life too. And uh, I love playing the game and I will play the game, but I want to play the game at the highest level I possibly can. And I understand what it takes to build a team of 60,000 plus people and the systems and programs that must be in place. And I will put in, I will put those in place. I'm more accessible to all the people on our team right now than I will ever be. And that accessibility is going to decrease every month. And I've said it many times on this podcast. I believe everyone should decide to become a millionaire. As Jim Rohn said, Jim Rohn's quote, not for the money, but for the person you will have to become in the process. The expansion of your comfort zone, getting out of the dugout and on the field consistently, being a starter, playing the game every day. I've watched people that, you know, go from the parking lot in the tailgate party to on the field being a superstar. You all have seen them too. Some of you have. So when it's all said and done and you look back on your entrepreneurial career, you will know. You're going to know if you stretched yourself, if you gave it all you had and you left it all on the field, or or if you were one of these people, there will be many, that were too afraid and never decided to figure out a way to make yourself get out of the dugout. That's my message to you, 32, and to everyone else. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. This is Dale Calvert. We'll talk to you next week on another session of the MOM Success Podcast. Get out of the dang dugout. Get out. Now's the time. This is the company. This is the opportunity. If you haven't gone over to iTunes yet and rated and left this podcast a review, what are you waiting for? At Calvert Marketing Group, we want to spend our time on the projects that we know are providing the most value for our clients and customers. You leaving us a review and feedback on iTunes is something that helps us more than you realize. And more importantly, it helps others like you find us. So if you've not taken the time to rate this podcast, please go over to iTunes and do that for us now. It will only take a couple of minutes out of your busy schedule. Work harder on yourself than you do on your business, and we will be back next week with another inspiring success story, wisdom of the ages training, or answers to your questions.